May 11th in Perth, Australia, we have Vasily Lomachenko versus George Kambosis for the vacant IBF lightweight title. Let's go ahead and get into this preview as well as prediction. Both guys coming off controversial decisions in their last fights, starting off with Lomachenko losing a unanimous decision against Devin Haney, in which a lot of the boxing world thought he was robbed. In my own personal opinion, I felt the fight could have gone either way, but I had it slightly edged for Lomachenko. But in this fight, I feel we were still able to see a lot of Loma's strengths with his feints as well as head movement really leaving Devin Haney in a daze at times. And probably one of his best punches with his lead left hand. But I feel similar to his loss against Teofimo Lopez, he usually starts slow, usually gives up the early rounds. And in those two losses against Devin as well as Teofimo, I think that's what really bit him in the ass on the back end. But regardless, I felt those fights could have gone either way. And if Lomachenko would have won, I, I wouldn't have been mad at all, bro. And even though Lomachenko is a three-weight world champion, I still feel the pressure is on for him in this fight. Being 36 years old and probably on the latter end of his career, I feel this is make or break if he wants to make that undisputed run again. But definitely, we'll find out May 11th. Now on to George Cambosis, who really came onto the scene with his upset victory over Teofimo Lopez in 2021. He was able to show his crafty counterpunching skills, knocking down Teofimo in the first with a heavy overhand right. And he was able to show his Spartan spirit throughout the fight, not backing down from exchanges and using Teofimo Lopez's aggressiveness against him. And he was also able to display his heart and grit after getting knocked down from Teofimo Lopez in the 10th round. And he was eventually able to go on and win a unanimous decision. A lot of people were saying Teofimo was just off his game that night. And it was like a one hit wonder because in his following fight, as well as rematch with Devin Haney, we were really able to see a lot of his flaws. We saw some of his struggles with fighters that fight off of the back foot and him having to be front foot heavy and chase them. And in this fight and previous fights as well, he's shown that he struggles with the jab, whether it be defending it or trying to time it and counter. And he ended up losing both fights. I don't even think he won a round or at least I didn't give him a round. And in his most recent fight with Southpaw Maxi Hughes, we were able to see those same flaws. He would have trouble dealing with Maxi Hughes movement as well as dealing with his jab. As well as counter punches. He would definitely still have his moments in the fight with explosive combinations as well as counters. He would still come out on top with the decision, but after watching that fight a couple times, I feel like he got washed. But like I say, bro, who am I? But now after breaking down both fighters, I'm gonna give my own X factors on what I feel both fighters need to do to come out victorious in this fight. Starting off with Lomachenko, I feel he really needs to start this fight faster. As I stated previously, he usually starts slow and gives away the early rounds. And I feel that's something that he cannot do in this fight, being the away fighter. It sucks that we even have to mention this, but boxing politics do exist and leaving things in the judges' hands has not gone in his favor in the past, but definitely still uses feints as well as movement to set up his punches as well as combinations. But I definitely hope he learned from his past mistakes as far as letting those early rounds go. And I feel he really needs to just get busy. Now onto George Cambosis. I feel he really needs to do the same thing as well, similar to what Devin as well as Teofimo did and start early and investing to the body. But if he so chooses to take a more of a back foot approach as he did in the Teofimo Lopez fight, I feel he may be able to use his bait jab and come over the top with a heavy left hook as he's shown in the past. Or if push comes to shove and he's unable to gauge Lomachenko's distance as well as timing, he needs to just throw at the same time with Lomachenko in between combinations. But regardless, win, lose, or draw, I feel George Cambosis really deserves the respect as he is shown to be willing to fight the top guys. So he's definitely got my respect, man, and uh, probably means nothing to y'all, but five finger salute, brother. Now on to prediction time. But one sec, man, if y'all so happen to get down with the preview as well as prediction, man, y'all go ahead and like and subscribe. But now back to the prediction, man. Uh, for this one, man, I gotta go with Lomachenko. Really based off of his skill set, with his feints, his movement, his combinations, his pop shots with that straight left, and really his whole body of work throughout his whole career. I'm not sure if Cambosis could really deal with 
Loma's Matrix type of style. Cambosis has proven people wrong in the past and who's saying he can't do it again. But y'all go ahead and let me know down in the comments who you guys got winning this one. Until next time.